The hills are alive with the sound of steel drums. Caribbean style steel drums as taught by Eric Rolnick of Conway. Switch. Again. This is the weekly meeting of the Conway Community Steel Band. Eric Rolnick is maestro. There's uh, quite a few steel bands actually in New England and there's about 25 uh, community and schools, every, everything from elementary schools to high schools to colleges have steel bands. As a social and community music form, it, it's very prevalent up here now. Rolnick says steel drums are a great way for people who don't have extensive music backgrounds to be part of an ensemble. You can get a bunch of people who never played these instruments before and have them playing a little tune together, you know, within, you know, one or two hours. Rolnick plays lead drum in his own professional band called Mango Groove. He fell in love with the sound of the instrument when he heard his first steel band in the 1980s. As I wanted to learn to play them, I realized the only place to do that would be in Trinidad. And um, my wife and I went down to Trinidad in 1989. Not only did he learn to play steel drums, he learned how to make them. It's been a full-time job ever since. This is basically the bottom of a 55-gallon drum that's been shaped uh, to become the musical instrument. I'm using hydraulic hammers for the sinking. For tuning, you still have to do that by hand. Each instrument takes about 20 hours to finish, and every piece of steel is unique. Even within one piece of metal, one section might have a little more carbon, and one, another might have a little more chromium, so it's not really a science, it's more of an art. He hopes one day that steel drums become as ubiquitous in the northern latitudes as they are in the tropics. People always, you know, get up and dance to it. You'll see little babies from, you know, six months old bouncing around to uh, people in their 80s and 90s. It, it appeals to everyone.